Hey, hi everyone! Welcome to Stock Masters. We are back with another interesting video, and today we are going to discuss uh, about one of the platform which can help you in trading. So, as the tagline says, "Trading made simple." That's with Trading Tick. Okay, so we are going to see the Trading Tick platform, and we can uh, we are going to see how we can make use of Trading Tick to the maximum, and what are the features available on Trading Tick. and how we can benefit from them okay so let's not waste any more time and let's go to the trading tick uh, platform and uh, let's have a look okay yeah so i am at the trading uh, tick website okay so this is the trading tick website so the website uh, address is trading tick.com okay so this is how the dashboard is so let's have a look at the dashboard first so if you look at the left hand top corner this part this is nifty it's a line chart which shows over here at what it is uh, trading you can see the graph has gone up till 18000 and then came down and now it's in the zigzag mode kind of thing okay now here there's nifty 50 gainer and loser so if you look today Uh, the market is kind of falling so majority of the nifty 50 stocks are uh, trading in red so that's why 84% shows like out of 50 uh, 42 stocks uh, nifty 50 stocks are falling only 16% that's 8 out of 50 which are in green okay uh, then there's fis and dis data over here if you look fis are in continuous selling mode so and the di is basically are buying so basically when the market is falling the di is support the market they are in the buying mode okay and uh, that's how it is okay so now let's go further down and let's see nifty 50 gainers so these are the stocks which are in the up trend right now so like this the eight stock which says over here okay so out of eight this five are the top gainers tech m uh, hcl tech tech m okay so basically it today is doing good so if you look at here also the sector which is it is positive and the ne next is fmcg so obviously nestle itc fall and the fmcg sector okay uh, so this is how you can see at the top gainers and top losers then you have the sector analysis as well so nifty iti like i told it's in positive it's one of the defensive sectors nifty it fmcg pharma okay so you can see how are the sectors behave uh, uh, doing then we have nifty uh, oi gainers which strike price has the maximum oi built up and similar with the buy, uh, bank nifty stuff so if you look at 17100 see there is maximum oi built up okay so this is was all about the dashboard now let's uh, navigate uh, on the navigation bar and let's see what are the things over here so nifty gain and loser we have already seen so this is all about nifty 50 stocks this there's a list of nifty 50 stocks and you can see uh, what are the stocks which are in green okay and then all the things which are negative so basically grasim has for in about 3% today okay so that's how we can look at nifty then you can look at the sector so these are the sectors like auto sector bank sector fmcg it media metal pharma and oil so if you look in auto bal krishna industry is doing good it's only in it's in green okay then we have mother sony which is slightly like on the green side on the positive side basically and in fmcg these are the stocks which are on the positive side rest on negative banking sector you can see this is how the banking sector is doing right now it like i said hcl tech lti corfuge tech cam emphasis in fee all this are green okay uh, they are going uh, they are doing good today okay so similarly you can see what are the stocks and how much they have corrected and they are moving okay then heat map so heat map is something like out of nifty 50 stock what is the heat saying like is it uh, hot or is it cold so if it is in green so it's basically 
like cold and if it is in red it is like heated like you are feeling the heat right so if you look at the heat map right now major majority of the stocks are in red that's why the heat map says red okay only couple of stocks like five six stocks which are in green that's uh, what the heat map says okay mm, so you are done with this three part now if you look at the future uh, tab so let's go and see future analysis so if you go to the future analysis so you have here you can see highest oi change today so you, you will see uh, in which stock there was a highest uh, change in oi okay so with that you can see so at pnb there was a highest change in oi that was uh, that is why it shows like this okay uh, the, the change in oi is like almost 50 lakhs correct so that's how you can see then this you you get the list of the stocks which has a magnet so there are different criteria your highest percentage change today okay so petronet so depending on this you can filter out stocks and then you can trade into stocks so there are different criteria change in increase in oi increase in price okay so if you know how to read an option chain this can be very helpful okay so decrease in OI, increase in price. Okay, so all this stuff you can make use of it uh, in a very good manner, right? Then again, we have uh, the decrease in price and increase. Uh, sorry, decrease in OI and decrease in price, right? So whenever there's like decrease in price and decrease in OI, that means long build up is happening, right? Whenever there is decrease in OI and increase in price that means short trades are being initiated correct and like increase in oi decrease in price is short covering and increase in oi increase in price is long trade basically first long trades are being initiated so this is what it indicates so if you are able to read option chain nice properly you can make this data and trade into the this thing right now we have so now if you look at nifty 15 minutes so it shows at like every 15 minutes it gets refreshed otherwise you have to refresh so if you look at your at this level short build up is happening okay so this is what the data shows right so you can check that through from here price versus okay so this is what uh, is like future price versus oi chart okay so let's see the the green dotted line green or blue dotted line is oi and the red one is price so if you look at this the price is falling but the oi is increasing that means like if you see it is shooting up okay the while the price is falling that means the market is moving down correct so this is what you can indicate from this part then we go to the options uh, tab over here. So we have OI analysis. We'll see what an OI analysis is. Here you have to select which uh, <coughs> index to over on Nifty you want to see or Nifty Bank. So if I select Nifty over here, and then just click submit. Okay, I want to see overall, not 16. Like you can change the time frame, but I'm going to just talk about overall over here. And if you look at this, um, now these are the strike prices at the bottom, okay? And the uh, uh, C is green, P is red, okay? So if you look at here, at 17, let's talk about the current market price, which is somewhere around 1619 to 1700. So at 1700, the put writing is more, okay? Even though the call writing is also on the higher side, but you can see the put writing is more, okay? So now, if the market, you know, has to move up, if you see the resistance at every point, it is more like 17,050 call writing is more. So first suggestion would be this point. If this is a uh, cost and sustain, then we have this 17 here again, the resistance is more. Okay. You can look, you can uh, uh, see if, uh, through this chart, right? What, where are the resistance zone and where are the support zone? Similarly on the left-hand side, the support zone. At 69.50, there's call writing also happening, put writing also happening, but the put writing is more kind of. 
so it can act as support you again again a support but if this keeps on increasing that the support will be broken so you can see with this data which will be helpful so you can update refresh it so the data will get modified okay then you can see the trending ois at which strike price okay so these are the trending ois 17.2 c 1700 c c all c strike prices okay so these are the trending ois so if you want to see which where the maximum people uh, present so with this trending ois you can see here and based on that you can select your strike price and trade into it okay then we have call versus put open interest correct again i'm going to click on submit so if you look at here the look at the call writing happening right now in the market and we'll look at the put writing so definitely the call writing is on a higher side that's why the market is falling so if you look here let's go and see okay if you look here the market is clearly falling and uh, that is why it says put right call writing is much higher that's why the market is falling while the put writing is not happening on the higher side so if now the market has to take support then the put writing should start at one of the strike price it should start creating a support okay now other these things is all what you can say if you want to compare a lot of things let's say i am looking at this level so it will say what is the price and if this is a c 6999 c price versus oi p so basically if you look at your 16900 the this thing is oi is moving going up while the price is moving down right so that means clearly the market is falling while p if you look the this thing is oi is going up price is not falling that much as compared to c okay so the market is falling but now if you look it is in range kind of this range that is why this signal okay so you can make use of this and see all the data then we have different strategies like if you want to know about the strategy is a whole different concept altogether but with this you can make a strategy and see how things work okay then we have okay then we have if you want to back test anything you can back test it from here so basically the uh, reason behind making this video was specially to understand the market gainer stoppers the future things for analysis and basically oi change in oi call versus put so this was the main uh thing which we wanted to discuss okay so i hope you have liked this video and don't forget to like subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions you can drop them in the comment section below and we'll be happy to help okay so see you guys in the next video bye take care